I'm a trifle deaf in this ear. Speak a little louder next time. Well, just like it was a rough week for my Oklahoma Sooners, yeah, it was rough in my picks as well. Yeah, I only won one game and lost two. You can thank Florida's place kicker for that. Maybe I win the Florida game against LSU. Maybe I don't, but we'll never know. Florida lost by a point. Of course, their kicker missed an extra point. That really hurt. So I lost that game. The coin won it. But reversal of fortune in Kansas State, Texas. Texas got me a backdoor cover with a touchdown in overtime to win by six. Then Texas was favored by five. So luck down on that one. The coin did not as the coin had the Wildcats. And both of us lost the Oregon-Washington State game. Yeah, the Ducks have a lot of work to do in Washington State. Well, they're for real. Mike Bleach has done a hell of a job in Pullman. So we both lost that game. So after six weeks of football, guess what? We're still tied. The coin and yours truly as both have a record of nine and nine. Sounds like a good idea to me, Buck. Let's pick. And remember, if the coin lands on heads, it likes the favorite. Tails is going to go with the underdog. A couple of Big 12 games as part of our My 3 picks for this week. Let's begin with Texas Tech and West Virginia. And I'll admit Texas Tech is better than what I thought. So far, just one loss of the season coming off a huge, huge win, point total-wise, over Kansas. But then again, not too many teams who face Kansas don't have big point total games. So... They got to go to West Virginia. Mountaineers have lost two games, but maybe that record a little misleading considering that their two losses are two damn good teams, Virginia Tech and, of course, TCU ranked in the top ten now. So, again, a little bit misleading. West Virginia has also had a terrific history against Texas Tech since joining the Big 12 and the games at Morgantown. It's good enough for me. West Virginia minus three and a half. I'm going to give the points. So, give me West Virginia minus three and a half. And the coin... Coin this week lacks Texas Tech. Speaking of the Big 12, let's head to Stillwater and Baylor and Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, a four-touchdown favorite. However, I'm more intrigued in this game by the point total that Vegas has installed, which is 68 points. Remember, OSU's had a bye week, okay? Chance to get rested up. So I think offensive-wise, that's going to be good for Mason Rudolph and company. However... I'm not sure if you give Oklahoma State a month off, if that's going to make a whole lot of difference on the Cowboy defensive side. I think Baylor will get some points in this game. I think OSU wins. But again, the point of this pick, do I like the over or under on that point total? Give me the over, which is 68. The coin lands on heads. It likes the over. Tails is going to go with the under. And the coin is going to go with the under. A couple of disagreements already. Finally, let's go to the SEC Bayou Country, Auburn at LSU. The Tigers, I give Ed Orgeron's team credit. After losing Detroit the week prior last week, Florida played a little bit better and, of course, got the win at the Swamp. Part of that, you credit LSU, but also, too, Florida just did not look very good in that game. And, again, a missed extra point really bit the Gators in the ass. So, LSU got a little bit of help in that game. Auburn has had a real good year. Their only loss came to Clemson, and it was 14-6, to a very respectable outcome for Auburn. Auburn on the road, only giving seven points. Are you kidding me? I'm on board. So give me Auburn minus the seven at LSU, and the coin is going to take Auburn as well. So those are my picks and the coin's picks. What are your picks? Just a reminder, my OU Texas post game it will not be until sometime on Sunday, so keep that in mind. Join me again at this time next week when the coin and I will pick three more games and, of course, review this week's picks on my three picks.